one, go. Uh, my name is Darren Beck. I'm the executive director. What is something on your bucket list that you would like to accomplish? Uh, personally, mm -hmm. I'd love, love to go to Cuba. That and uh, do some traveling when I get to be maybe too old to appreciate it. I don't know. Okay. I, I think my main bucket list, though, professionally, is I'd really, really like to have this school be seen in more of the light that that kind of comes out of your your guys' eyes. Because some of you don't like day to day, maybe Rockwell, but but it, it's funny how many former students go, oh man, I don't know what I would have done without Rockwell. And that's, I wish that could be how we measure success. Everything about Rockwell is kids. The kids. I have no problem saying that. I don't like the adults, parents, <laughs> teachers. Sorry, they're they're great people because they had you guys and and they teach you guys, uh, and and I'm fine with them. Um, but but my thing is that. I, I even the kids that say I won't snitch or I'm not gonna tell you this I, I find the honesty when we're dealing with certain things to be really powerful and I think that when they believe that someone is actually being sincere and genuine with them um, the, the whole dynamic shifts and when they realize that it's there uh, that you're actually there for them um, I've seen kids who everybody else has given up on suddenly uh, do some really great things. What is your biggest fear for your future? My biggest fear is uh, failing failing students. Uh, and I don't mean giving them an F. If you earn an F, you get an F. <laughs> I mean letting them down. One of the most, well, oh, shoot. I, I'm sorry, but I, there's 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 been a ton of, mm -hmm. of reward. And I'm not talking about a, a name you know, a certificate or a plaque or a trophy. I'm talking about rewarding, if we're talking remor rewarding moments. Um, every time a kid doesn't give up on themself, uh, themselves, that's that's hugely rewarding because you did have something to do with that. It's uh, helping, helping a, a student and their parents kind of come to an agreement and, and, and work through some tough things even, even though the kid you know was was basically telling their parents their parents t t you know to get away I, there's just been a lot of rewarding things I, I mean being able to work with the National um, Alliance for Public Charter Schools for a few years when we were first when we first opened Rockwell I was a, I was on the uh, board of uh, the Utah Association of Public Charter Schools, and we worked really closely for a few years, and it was a, it was very rewarding that they saw a little, seemingly insignificant Utah as a value, and, and to this day, you know, nearly a decade later, I'll go, I'll go to a, a, the National Charter School Conference, and I have people come up and say, hey, how are you doing? And that's rewarding in the sense of your, your work being recognized and, and appreciated, but it's not a plaque. It's not a you know you don't get presented anything. You don't have your picture in the paper, but it's it's the simple day to day stuff. It's having kids trust you enough to come in and have hard conversations. And I will look up Bailey when I say <laughs> having hard conversations where you don't agree necessarily, but you can agree in, or disagree in an agreeable way. You don't have to be a you don't have to be jerks. Uh, I think we choose we choose to just be confrontational and negative because it's the default it's easier it's harder to be pleasant when you disagree who do you look up to the most um cheesy though it may be my mom and dad a great work ethic great sense of humor um not so much politically maybe but uh, you know they're, they're they're pretty awesome people and i think the reason i want to do what i do is is to try to repay them in some way, except for I can't really repay them, so gotta kind of pay it forward. And then I got lucky from kindergarten all the way through college. I've had great teachers. I had some schmucks too, but really great teachers, and I feel like I, I kind of owe them. This is, and then there's there's some of you kids that are great influence. Believe it or not, you can, you can influence an old man. Um, and my wife, she's my best friend, bar none. So first question now, okay. This <laughs> true. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, uh, of the like, caption, and he did motion to Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> I really think that should like that should be a theme. Question. Next okay. question. I gotta find it. One second. Ah, Let's go, um, Barbara Walters. Um, Let's um, do this. Um, um. <laughs> Another blooper. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to watch my mouth. This is PG rated, I guess. Um, <laughs> 
yo necesito uh, beber mi Pepsi. What does that mean? Que está encima de mi escritorio. I mean? need to drink my Pepsi that's on top of my desk. 